Hello, hello. Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Gravy with Jason Graves. Today we are making pepperoni meatball sandwiches. Today's meal is going to have plenty of meat, plenty of flavor, and plenty of deliciousness. Now, the recipe today will be divided into three different sections. We're going to have the meat part. We are going to have a sauce part. Next, we're going to put it all together. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is that we're going to have the individual sections of this recipe will be divided up in their own individual videos and the recipe will be in the description section. The reason that we did that it's because the meat and the sauce are so good that they can be used in individual recipes and when we start out this recipe this is gonna be nice easy and lazy will go good on anything. Now the nice lazy thing about this is we're gonna throw everything in there mix it and call it a day. Now we're throwing there right now one pound of hot Italian sausage one pound of mild Italian sausage. We're gonna have Italian seasoning we're throw in there, which is about half a tablespoon. We have fennel seeds. Now that's gonna be one half tablespoon in there. We're gonna have chopped up garlic which is one tablespoon. Now we're just gonna throw everything in there. We're gonna mix it, cook it, and call it a day. Easy and lazy. Now an optional thing you can also add in there is three-fourths to one cup panko breadcrumbs in there or you can use regular breadcrumbs I usually prefer the panko ones uh, today's little visual is not going to have that but it is definitely an option now if you do like this video uh, on the bottom in the description section you're going to see the recipe that's going to be there so you're going to see a nice little visual of it too if you have any questions everything you need is right there now I, we're going to cook on a medium heated cooking surface today so uh, we can control the temperature get what we need to get done now this is one of those recipes you're, you're going to have to eye on what is cooked on there so we're just going to rotate the meatball slowly cook it on a medium heated surface and call it a day you can also bake this at 400 degrees just rotate it every so often to make sure it doesn't burn on any specific side if you're going to put it in the oven now, if you're going to put it in the oven, probably 20, 30 minutes while it's in the oven. Now, this is going to be the countertop version. The countertop version, as I said, it's slow, precise. We get the exact coloring we want. We get the exact texture we want. And we're doing golf ball size meatballs. Do not make them too big. The reason is because you want to make sure that it's cooked all the way. It's healthy, easy to use, and you could still have plenty of meatballs if you use golf ball size. Now, after you're done with your meatballs, I would recommend to start working your sauce immediately, or if you got the time to work in both at the same time. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is that it's phenomenal, and my family is well known for it. Because this stuff will go good on anything. Now, this recipe, we're going to start off with two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to throw into a medium heated pan. Do not make it too hot because we do not want to burn our sauce. While we're putting your ingredients in, uh, don't forget to stir. We're going to be stirring for around 17 to 20 minutes. We're going to throw in there next one tablespoon of chopped up garlic with one cup of chopped up pitted olives. No pits at all. We want to make sure uh, we have no uh, pits in there. Now we're going to have one cup of chopped up onions, one cup of chopped up mushrooms. We're just going to throw in there. Nice, easy, and lazy. Now, if you do uh, want to get a copy of this recipe, it is in the description section of the video, so please don't be shy clicking on that. We're gonna also throw in one cup of water in there. We're gonna have one can of 29 ounce crushed tomatoes we're going to throw in there. Do not drain the can, throw it in there. We want all those flavors. We have one can of six ounce tomato paste we're just gonna throw in there. Do not forget to stir while you're doing this. And we're going to have oregano we're going to toss in there. That's about one half teaspoon of oregano. Naturally, these seasonings can be altered later on. Now, the next we're going to have is basil, which is two teaspoons of basil we're going to throw in there. Then we have black pepper, which is going to be a one fourth teaspoon you can add a little more if you want uh, we have Dijon mustard which is going to be one tablespoon of Dijon mustard we have parsley we're going to throw in there I highly recommend the fresh parsley uh, you can about one half cup in there 
then we're gonna have one cup of personal favorite pepperoni throw everything in there stir it now as i said you stir this around 17 20 minutes don't let it settle now after we're done with the main ingredients we're going to just put all of this together so this is just one of those things we're just going to toss everything in you're going to have a preheated oven at 400 degrees you're going to have a medium heated pan that we're going to work with the rest of this this is our meatballs that we're going to work with uh, i recommend cutting them in half towards the end we can use one cup of bell peppers one cup of onions naturally you can use more or less i like plenty of parmesan on there you could even use powdered, powdered parmesan we're going to have some shredded cheese in there and we are going to use one cup of pepperoni naturally if you're a meat lover throw more in there now we're also going to be using some french bread today now the you can use any bread you will you want it's your sandwich but the reason we use french bread because i just like it for this texture purposes now when we are going to work with the bread we're going to melt the cheese in an oven never melt cheese in the microwave with bread why because you're going to make that bread chewy um, now we also hollowed out some of the french bread a little bit by taking some of the bread out because i don't like it as bready and it also acts kind of as a bowl to keep our sauces in and our, our other items uh when you're and one big tidbit i do not like about certain sub like subs or other certain sandwiches that have whole entire uh meatballs in them uh they leave them in whole i think it's lazy throw them in cut up the nice thing is when you do that is enough surface area so it doesn't fall out of the sandwich you don't make a big mess the idea is to enjoy your sandwich and not to clean up yourself now we're just going to toss everything in there all the cheeses everything now even if you want to uh even top it up with a little more cheese melt it in the oven if you want uh, it's this is the part where you're gonna have to be creative to do whatever you feel like you're doing from this end now as i said i recommend even a little bit of extra parmesan cheese even the powder type uh you can throw on there now this is going to be our uh famous sauce we're just going to be throwing in there real quick we i just needed a can to throw it in so yeah a little bit of a close-up Now this is our final product right here. We had no complaints that day, so it's a pretty good meal. If you do like the recipe, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day and thank you very much for watching. Bye.